Hello, you too. My name is Adam. I'm an electrical engineering student, and I just took a level 400 class called FPGA prototyping uh, this past summer. So I'm making this video to help people out online uh, figure out how to use um, Xilinx and uh, to do different things with the prototyping boards because it's quite hard and uh, there aren't a whole lot of video, good videos out there. So here's the uh, Xilinx 3E. Um, or Spartan 3E FPGA prototyping board and it's pretty powerful. Uh, it has an LCD screen, it has a bunch of push buttons and knobs and things uh, but they run about $200 name brand but digital and I wouldn't. It's for Xilinx program. Um, so I'm going to be going over some things, just some programs and help people out here. Uh, so first of all, we're using ISE Design Suit 14.1 uh, is what works best with uh, this board I've found, and I'm running a uh, Windows XP 32-bit. So we'll start with the um, keyboard here. Shoot, where is it? Here it is. Uh, it's called the hyper hyperboard or keyboard hyper terminal, and I'll upload all the stuff online so you guys can download it word for word. I might change some things, but hopefully nothing will get that messed up. So you have a whole bunch of uh, uh, parts of the program you go through. Um, things are instantiated. If you instantiate something, it goes under it, and you give it values from inside the program and things. Uh, really the best explanation is um, this book here called FPA Proto Prototyping by Verilog Examples by Pong Pichu. You can get it online for free. Um, and it's basically I get all this code that I'm running uh, from this book for the most part. So Right. Well, uh, so you go to the uh, topmost terminal, and you have to. I'll just rerun all these so you get an idea. You have to synthesize. Keep my hands. Up. Synthesize, implement, and generate, and then you have to configure the target device, which is the FPGA board, which is connected via USB. And for the keyboard. I have to connect a cable. This black cable runs to the back of my laptop in order for the hyper terminal program to work correctly. Um, so you can see the right results. Uh, Windows XP has free hyper terminal, uh, which is nice, but you might be able to find it online for free. So when you run these, it takes a long time, so I'd run the other ones already. I just wanted to give you an idea though. Um, and basically this first project, the keyboard, is I will type something and it'll show up on the hyper terminal. Yep. And the others are different. Well, this is taking a longer than usual. Implement, and then it has to generate a programming file uh, in order for you to, you, or you then use that to program the board. Once you have that file generated, you can uh, you don't have to rerun the other two, so it goes a lot faster. And then you'll get this warning. Once again, this is with 14.1 Xilinx. Uh, just ignore that warning. And then wait for the uh, screen programming screen to open up. You get that from clicking on config configure target device. Now you go to you double click on boundary scan. After the uh, board is uh, connected to your laptop via USB 2.0. Okay, and then you right click and you go to initialize chain. These are just the steps you have to do. And if it doesn't recognize the board right away, try just 
turning it on and off and trying again. Now you have to choose the programming file it just generated. So you have to uh, go to uh, go to the folder you ran it from, keyboard hyper terminal, and then choose a test bit and then hit open. And just hit no, ignore that, then bypass the next two screens and hit OK. And then you right click on the first green part and hit program. And then you can sell a program because there's a yellow light down there for this board at least. Okay, so let's see if it worked. Uh, in the book, it gives you uh, instructions on how to set up Hyper Terminal. You can just control F Hyper Terminal. And you have to put in certain settings like uh, for this to work. If you go to settings and you have to go to ASCII setup and then make sure echo type characters is selected. So here you will see when I press keys, they show up on the screen. It's not perfect, but if it's a project you need to do, hopefully this can help you. It's code. So that's that. Second project is the mouse LED. Um, so I will go ahead and program that. So can double click on configure target device. Close out the old one. No need to save. Boundary scan. Initialize chain. Go to the folder you need to go to. It's LED. No. Bypass. Bypass. OK. Right click. Program. OK, so now it's programmed and I need to plug in the mouse. Here. Plug it into the PS2 port. Okay, so mouse is plugged in, and when you move the mouse, oh shoot. I think I need to reprogram it on there. Yep, okay, because nope. it wasn't plugged in yet. When you move the mouse left, the LEDs go left and right. And when you right click, it goes to the right, and when you left click, it goes to the left. And when you scroll, it moves over. And it gets faster the more you move. Because of course, this is a ball mouse, because you, you need PS2. It's kind of hard to find these things now. But there you go. Hopefully this code helps some people. So that's it. Okay. Now on to the last one. is uh, Pong. So, configure target device because I already had the programming file generated. Boundary scan, initialize. Uh, keyboard Pong, oh wait, no. Keyboard Pong is my attempt at using the keyboard to control Pong, but I could not get it to work. Two button Pong. Okay, so bypass, bypass, okay, program. Now for this to work, you need to have the UCF file just right. You need to have it. Let's see if we can zoom in. Uh, there are little numbers on the uh, by the port there, and uh, you have to have the right ones in. And it's right now it's connected to the monitor, so 
and it's controlled. You control the Pong via these two buttons here. So, and it does work. And because the refresh rate is so bad, the screen it doesn't look the best, but yeah, controlling it. Another friend of mine helped me out with these. Set making this. Really does take a lot of time. So, yeah. It bounces off the wall. And there's a reset button. Right here. So it goes back to the center. Okay. So those are three programs. Um, I might upload more later. Uh, depending on if I have the money for to buy my own board. So, uh, yeah, that's it.